Hi everybody, my name is Erin and today I'm going to do a bit of a September wrap up for my Clean Plate series goals and set some goals for October. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> I said at the beginning of September that I was going to work on um, three different series. These are longer series uh, that I wanted to work on and get toward, get closer to finishing this year. So, <laughs> the series that I planned to read were um, the Longmire series by Craig Johnson. I did not plan to finish this one. I was on book, I'd finished book six before September. In September I finished book seven and eight, so I got two further in that series and it goes to book 13. The current book is um, 13. I also said that I was going to work on Terry Pratchett's Raising, or not Raising Steam, Terry Pratchett's Discworld series because I have two books left in that. Um, I did not do so good on that. I got a third of the way through Raising Steam, and that's kind of where I lost Steam and <laughs> stopped reading it because some other things came up, um, and that was kind of a disappointment for me because in addition to that, in addition to Raising Steam, I have Terry Pratchett's um, The Shepherd's Crown, which is the last book, so I could have finished that series. They're sitting on my shelf, and I didn't. So that was a bit of a failure for me, and um, that, that happens, right? These things happen. What I did do was I managed to finish um, two books in the Anna Pigeon series by Nevada Barr, and this one's Firestorm, which is the fourth book in the series, and I also finished Ill Wind, which is the third book in the series. So I believe those are the numbers, um, and I'm loving this. Ill Wind is set in Mesa, Arizona, and this one is set in California. Now this one I thought was super topical, um, even though it's written in 1995, it was actually about uh, a wildfire in California and the firefighters that get trapped in it when it, um, when a firestorm basically happens and the fire changes direction and comes back on the firefighters and they have to sort of run for their lives and protect themselves. And when that happens, there's a murder of course. And so after that, and everyone comes out of their shelters and their protection, um, there are two men dead. One they knew was going to be dead, unfortunately, uh, and the other one is murdered. So it's kind of an interesting, very unique outdoor murder because it's basically a closed room murder. Nobody can get up um, onto the mountain because of the fire. It's blocked roads, the weather turned, and it's cloudy and foggy, so the firefighters, like, they can't land a helicopter or anything like that to get the heli the firefighters out. Um, and so nobody's coming onto the mountain and nobody's going off the mountain. And so all your suspects are there and you've got a locked room mystery on the side of a mountain in California, which was fascinating and I absolutely loved this. I did really well on the two series that I planned, two of the three series that I planned to read, which is good. Um, I also started a new series. I started the Dusty Deals Mystery Series by Ray Davies, and that one started with Loose Screw, and it was it was okay. It took me a while to read that because it's on my e-reader, and sometimes my e-reader isn't the best place for me to read books. I tend to prefer paper ones. I also read two books in the Andy Carpenter series by David Rosenfeld, and this is a, a legal mystery series. Um, so our main character, Andy Carpenter, is a lawyer, and he has a dog, and um, in an earlier book, he came into a whole bunch of money, and he and his partner, um, not law partner, but a, a, his partner in the dog rescue, used that money to um, start the dog rescue. And so there's this kind of parallel stories going on typically in all of the books, but it's also very animal focused. And I love that. I, I'm, I really like the animal focused books. So I'm really liking the um, Andy Carpenter series. And I read books seven and eight in that series. And I believe that one also has 13 books. So I'm getting there. I'm getting caught up on that. I got myself caught up on the uh, Tess Gerritsen Rizzolian Isles series. This is set in Boston and it's a medical examiner, um, which is Dr. Maura Isles, and a police officer, uh, Jane Rizzoli, Detective Jane Rizzoli, who um, solve 
crimes. It's a little gory, it's a little, yeah, it's a thriller, right? It's a medical examiner thriller. Um, and so I got caught up, I read book 12 of that. I did a book chat about it, and that is I Know a Secret. So that was really awesome to get caught up on that one. And I also got caught up, I finally read Turbo 23, by uh, Janet Ivanovich, which is a Stephanie Plum novel, and I mean, <laughs> that one's kind of a lather, rinse, repeat. So I did get caught up on those two, and then I started a new series, but I started in the middle of this one, and that is the Positively Organic series by Liz Mugavero. So that was, I read Purring Around the Christmas Tree, which was book six. So that's where kind of I did how I did in September, I did okay. I finished off a couple series. I made some really good progress on two of the series that I want to, two of the longer series that I'm trying to catch up on. And now I want to talk about October goals. I decided that I needed to spend October getting back to some of my favorite cozies and starting some new cozies. Um, in an easy win for me, I have, there's a two book series by Julia Buckley and it's the uh, Writer's Apprentice series. This is Death in Dark Blue. Um, I read the first book in the series last year. It was A Dark and Stormy Murder, and I really liked it, so I decided to pick this up at my library today. So that's Death in Dark Blue. I have two books by Murder, or by Murder, she wrote. Two books by Jessica Fletcher, Fletcher or Donald Bain. Um, I've got Skating on Thin Ice. And I have The Fine Art of Murder. Both of those are Jessica Fletcher books. There are so many in that series, I can't even count. I'm not even close to half done. So yeah, there's a long ways to go on that. But those would take those off of my to-read shelf. Um, going for some more classic uh, cozy mysteries, I have two by Nero Wolf, which is, or two by Rex Stout, which are the Nero Wolf series. I've got Please Pass the Guilt. And, wow, that was talented, The Golden Spiders by Rex Stout. And then um, you can't really do a month focused on cozy reading without reading The Queen, Agatha Christie. So I have Sparkling Cyanide, Curtain, which is Poirot's final case, and N or M, which I believe is Tommy and Tuppence. Um, and I love this... I don't love. The swastika on the front of this um, means that it's probably set in one of my favorite time periods, which is World War II. I don't know why I'm so fascinated by it, but that's that. So basically this month I'm going to be working on um, the Agatha, or not Agatha, yeah, Agatha Christie series. So there's three series there that I'll be working on. Um, the Rex Stout series, Nero Wolf, and the easy win of that one book by Julia Buckley for the Writer's Apprentice series. I also went to my library today and found two books that are new, first in series. I looked for that specifically, and I found Kernel of Truth. Sorry about the lighting, I'm really trying to get some better light here. Um, so this one is the first in a popcorn shop mystery. And <laughs> Kernel of Truth. Haha, <laughs> get it? Popcorn kernel. Um, and Needed needed to death, which is a bread a bread shop mystery, which, let's face it, that's a bakery. Bread shop, bakery, bakery, bread shop, bread shop. And this one's by Winnie Archer. So I picked those two up for two new series to start. Not that I really need to start new series, but you know. And I'm also going to continue listening to the Andy Carpenter series on audiobook, because that's kind of how I've been consuming those so far, and uh, I am digging that. So that's, yeah. That's my goals for the month. Uh, I know I've got some other books that I'll be reading, but that's that's my my series goals. So there you go. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.